everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, I just want to say that it's amazing that we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Uh, we might even be there by the time that this video goes up. And I just want to say thank you so much. Like honestly, it's so amazing. My goal for this year was probably like, oh, I'll get to like maybe 400 subscribers or something like that. But a thousand is just like, like mind blowing. Like I didn't think I would actually get this far. And, I mean, to some people that might not be a lot, I'm not sure, but to me it means everything and so I just want to thank you guys. And one thing that I know that a lot of you have been asking for is my year review of my couch. And so that is what I'm doing today, finally. And so it's been um, a little bit over a year. I got my couch uh, in, in February of last year. So yeah, and I forget exactly how much it was. Um, I think it was $6.99. Um, I'll put like the links and everything down in the description below and so you can find the couch and everything. It is called the Freetin. Um, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it at all. But anyways, um, so and I got it obviously in the gray color. And so yeah, um, first off I just have to say that honestly I'm still completely in love with this couch and nothing has really changed on my opinion of that. I honestly think it was a very, very good uh, purchase and a very good investment. And it really doesn't look any different than the day I got it, honestly. There's no um, like excessive creaks or anything like that, nothing is broken. Um, and honestly, the, the fabric's pretty much the same quality as it was when I first got it. There's a few little nicks here and there, but that's, you know, my own fault. That's not exactly like the couch messing up or anything like that. And um, and I, I really like it. What I do is um, I don't have a mattress topper for it because I like more firm type beds. Um, so if you don't like firm beds, then definitely if you're gonna get this, get a mattress topper to go with it um, because it is firm. And I know that maybe sometimes I can cause back problems for some people and things like that. And I tend to sleep on either one side or the other. I don't sleep right in the middle of the bed and. I know somebody before said that they were sleeping in the middle of the bed and it really hurt their back because there's like a support beam or things like that and the way the couch is um, set up when you pull out the bed you know or when you push in the bed part uh, there's this gap here so there's like two cushions there's like a space I'll show you later but anyway so there's like a crack there so I'm sure maybe that could be uncomfortable for some people but I tend to sleep either on like the side towards the wall or the side towards the edge of the bed so I don't really have any problems with that. Um, I have noticed that queen size sheets uh, fit this better than full size. Ikea has a special full slash queen size so if you're going to get sheets from there it'll be fine. Just get the full, the full clean, oh my gosh, the full queen size sheets. Um, but if you go to like Walmart or Target or anything like that, then just get the queen sized ones because those fit a lot better. The full size don't quite stretch over um, the entire thing. But yeah, and the only other thing that I learned is to make sure that the chase is on the side that you want your headboard on. Um, I learned the wrong, the uh, hard way. When I first set it up, I put the chase on the this side over here, which is not the side that I usually sleep on, so I had this like awkward uh, setup where there was like a small gap between the wall and everything like that, so I wasn't able to sleep properly, so I had to switch everything out. And yeah, that's all my advice. Um, I honestly, I really still like it. Um, I can show you the pillows here, I have some of my own things, but these are what the pillows look like. It comes with three of them. They're a good size pillow, they each uh, fit so that they fit along the long side of the couch here. See, I have that. And I believe that two of them can fit on the um, headboard side of it if you want to set it up that way. So, two of them can fit there and everything. And I just, you know, I put like a blanket on it or whatever just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And yeah, um, that's pretty much. I guess my review. <laughs> I, I don't really have too much to say about it. I don't really have any, um, I don't have anything bad to say about it necessarily. It's, it's all really built well and 
it's like I said, there's no creaks or anything like that, so it's still holding up really well. Um, I can also show you the storage side because I remember in my last review somebody wanted me to do that, so I will show you that really quick. So here's just a bit of a closer view. Um, this is how I like to sleep, so the headboard side is against the wall, and all you have to do is just kind of push this up or pull it up, whatever you want to say, and it stays up by itself. And currently I have four standard pillows in here. I keep four in here. I have the comforter and duvet that I got from Ikea, and these are some sheets that I got from Target, I believe. So it fits all of that, and I can still fit at least another blanket in here. So it fits a lot, and when I make it into a bed, um, the three pillows that come with it fit in here perfectly. Um, but that's pretty much all that'll fit in with the uh, with the cushions. Um, I haven't been able to really fit much else in there. There might be like a thin blanket that can fit with the cushions, but that's pretty much it. And here's also what I'm talking about with the gap. Um, when you pull this out, okay, see there's a gap here um, from when you pull out the bed part. I'm on focus. And there's like there's little cracks here and everything like that, but that's never really been an issue because I sleep on either this side or I sleep on this side. So that hasn't been an issue. But last time when I didn't put the headboard, I put it on the other side. As you can see here, there's this little gap uh, from the bed, and this is how I was sleeping. So I was always afraid of like just falling a little bit or something like that behind the bed. I'm gonna say this is the only thing I think that I don't like about it if my camera would focus is when you either sit on it or lay on it when you get up the uh, fabric does kind of weirdly like crease and everything like that but it does smooth out you can smooth it out eventually you know you, you'll get there <laughs> but I think maybe that's the only thing that I don't quite like about it um, I don't know if there's really much that can be done about that if the fabric can be tightened at all around the cushions or anything but I think that's just that's the only flaw that I have found with it. So that's pretty much my uh, year term review of this. I don't think I'll be making another one of these in like two years or anything like that. Um, it's I think it's gonna hold up for quite a long time since it's always hold up for this. And I also um, have my dog who he likes to sleep up in bed with me as well. So I mean it can you know stand having a dog in it. I mean you just have to have a lint roller and make sure that they're toenails are filed down and everything like that. But yeah, it's it's honestly been really, really good for me to have it. And if you guys have any questions at all, please make sure to leave them down in the comments. Um, I'll be answering whatever I can. And yeah, all the links to everything are in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed my year review and I'll see you next time.